Um, oh wait. <laughs> Maybe I am sad. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's your girl Samri. You already know the vibes. The vibes are not hitting today, I'm not gonna lie. Today's video, I'm going to get a tad bit vulnerable. I'm not gonna get in too much detail, but uh, I'm gonna get in my feels today. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about what it's really like to be in a long distance relationship and things that I just didn't understand about long distance relationships and I never understood the big deal and why some people would say certain things or why people would you know make big deals about being in a long distance relationship but here we are and now I'm here to tell you that these things are true and it's no joke but anyway let's get into this video I may have some input from my boyfriend obviously not right in front of me but maybe over text or something or if he wants to put his own input in here I am definitely going to let him know that he can do that anybody that's in a long distance relationship that is still struggling I hope this helps I hope I can give you some advice that helps whatever I'm gonna stop talking I always talk too much in my intros and let's get started so to start me and my boyfriend Naja we are 900 miles let's see to be exact we are 965 miles apart <laughs> that's so sad the longest that we ever were apart was I think it was um maybe like 50 miles or something like that it was like an hour and 10 minutes obviously this is way different so yeah 965 miles apart it's four it's about 14 to 15 hours depending on all the traffic out the way. I've never drove down there, um, at least to visit him, and I haven't flown down there to visit him yet. It's about like a two, two and a half hour flight. I've flown up here when my family lived up here and I lived down there by myself. The flight was super easy, it was super chill. Yeah, there's that. So, I guess to start, I, I wanna say our relationship actually hasn't the, our overall relationship hasn't really changed. I think there's so many things that go into it. We're actually <laughs> we're actually about to be together for three years exactly on December 16th. Today it is December 7th, bro. We have nine days and we can't be together. This is our first anniversary that we haven't been together and we've been so excited for this one because three years is a really long time. We've gone through a good amount of things just in our relationship just in our separate lives together that have affected our relationship so it's kind of a big deal for us three years is a while and unfortunately we can't spend it together so that sucks it's been we're going on three months of not seeing each other i will say in the beginning it was so hard for both of us i think we were both trying to adjust and figure out our own ways and if I don't leave this in here, it's only because he doesn't want me to talk about it. Well, um, I have to respect his privacy and our privacy for our relationship. But Nai actually was not talking to me that much. You know, we couldn't see each other, so he thought it'd be easier to just not talk and let him deal with it and adjust to this new aspect in our relationship. Um, but it actually didn't. It made it way worse. I actually had a phone call with him um, because I was like, that hurts that like, you're not talking to me. Like, I'm still your girlfriend, you know? It sucks because all we can do to communicate is through the phone. It sucks. It's texting, phone calls, and that's literally it. When we're constantly only having to text each other and communicate through our phones, it's like we miss those texts, we miss the calls. You know, we're not always checking our phone. Just because we're in a long distance relationship doesn't mean that we're like glued to our phone, you, you know what I mean? So. It sucks. That's like our only way to communicate. It's weird. And if it wasn't for FaceTime, we'd never see each other. It was weird because in the beginning, the first week, it was like we didn't, we didn't call, we didn't any, we didn't do any of that. We didn't FaceTime, we didn't call. I think it took us both about a week and a half to be like, okay, I'm ready to, to see you again and I'm ready to FaceTime. It might seem a little dramatic, but you have to think when you've been together for this long, and you have like a whole new way of having to communicate and spend time together and talk to each other and how you're gonna continue to grow in your relationship and grow in yourself and everything it's just it's weird it is super weird now there's some people that start off in a long distance relationship and I think that it honestly is easier to do that than go vice versa anyway I can't even remember where I was going with that but yeah it was um it was difficult in the beginning I'm not gonna lie we both like I said we're going on about three months so we're 
definitely getting better. I think he's feeling a little better about it. I, I'm feeling better about it too. There's some days where, you know, the feelings and emotions come in waves where it's like, oh my gosh, I miss my best friend. Oh wait, why are my eyes watering? Whoa, that <laughs> what is going on right now? Y'all, I'm not even sad. When I said my best friend, I missed my best friend, but my eyes started watering. I'm not joking, y'all. Okay, anyway, that was super weird. There is some days where I miss my best friend, and there's some days where I just want to hang out with him, and I want us to, you know, go get some food, or... Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I am sad. <laughs> oh my gosh, why am I crying? Yo, I have not cried about this. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting that. I need to calm down. <laughs> Y'all. It might seem like I'm faking it right now or trying to be dramatic or whatever, but I'm not joking. I'm actually confused on my emotions. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's regroup. So a week before I actually moved here, I was at his house because I moved out my apartment. I just like wanted to get out of there. If y'all haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. You guys are updated on why the heck we're even in a long distance relationship. Just wanted to get out of that apartment. So his mom let me stay at his house for that week. And um, we were together every day. So we were, it was just so fun. Him, we're always just always laughing. Oh my gosh, she's always making me laugh. Car rides and music was like one of our favorite things. But I swear now it's like we don't text each other as much. And it's so, it sucks so bad because it's like, we can't talk about if we went out with a group of friends or something or if we wanted to plan something. It's like, no, we don't have those talks anymore because it's like, what do we have to talk about, you know? And when you're with somebody for this long, it's not like you can have the, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite song? Like, I already know all that. So it's just difficult and it's so weird. It's, it's definitely something that it's hard to adjust to and it's not, it doesn't mean that either of y'all are falling out of love or whatever. It's literally just everybody adjusts to it differently. I'd say we're both very good at communicating. With communication comes trust. Now, now this is the big thing, and I'm not gonna get into it too much because I actually don't have much to say about it. But with trust, I think, in our particular situation, I'm so glad that we built trust with each other before this because I don't know how it would go if we didn't have that trust in each other because this is so hard. Like, you literally can only take somebody's word you can, he can only take my word and I can only take his word. It's terrifying, I'm not gonna lie, it's so terrifying. But I trust him and I love him. If you don't have trust in each other, this thing will not work. It doesn't matter how much you think you love each other, it doesn't matter if you guys are your number one best friends in this entire universe, it does not matter if you don't have trust, it's literally not gonna work. And Life360 honestly doesn't save the day, but it's just a good, stress reliever to have honestly so it's like mm, where were you today let me check you know not trying to be stalkerish but it's just to ease your mind and your heart i can't even wait until we see each other again because the emotions will literally be so crazy I, i'm honestly gonna cry i'm gonna be nervous i'm going to have butterflies in my stomach as if we were starting all over again in 2019 yeah y'all are definitely gonna be seeing that video whenever we see each other again for the first time it's gonna be crazy some of y'all might be like why haven't y'all seen each other yet well okay here's the deal he works full-time i work part-time <laughs> but i also have a dog y'all want to see her yeah it makes it a little more difficult um having a dog and also living with your parents because i can't just leave my dog here with my parents and my family because we literally have another dog but we will make it work i'm hoping that if i do get this new job that i'm not going to tell you all about yet but if i do get it i'm making a whole video about it because oh my gosh literally y'all i can't even talk about it right now because if i don't get it i'm gonna be so sad but if i do get it y'all are gonna be hearing about it because it's gonna be crazy i think that that's all for my portion if anybody's in a long distance relationship just know that long distance doesn't last forever and y'all are gonna get through it just like we're getting through it everybody's learning it's a learning journey everybody does it differently nobody can do it the same it's just a weird thing i hope y'all enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in my next video